Harry, this is a much better thing to review than the one I planned to. This is What If 22, which is what if Mr. Doom had become a hero. Surely one of the first ideas they came up with when this series was thought of. This is a mostly decent story. There are some problems, but it accomplishes most of what you expect it to. It opens as most what if issues do by giving you a primer on the subject, in this case, Mr. Doom. And we also have our narrator, the big baby in a nappy. This might be the funniest image in here. Not sure why, but this really tickled my funny bone. We cover Mr. Doom's origin, how he was... Well, the comic describes him as a gypsy, but I am not allowed to describe him as such. But if you don't know much about Mr. Doom's origin or backstory, this does a nice attempt at covering everything from his parents and his mother to his time at college when he met Mr. Fantasticals and his face was mangled up by science. There is a Mr. Doom origin series called Books of Doom and I just want to say I don't recommend that. I thought it was shoddy. This is a very DC style image. The two Earths. It feels very DC. Our divergence point is that Mr. Doom, he listens to Mr. Fantasticals when he warns him about his experiments. And then Mr. Doom asks for his help. And so instead of being horribly disfigured, things gone a bit different. His experiments were an attempt to contact the Nefer world. And this in and of itself was a retcon. Originally, this wasn't what he was doing, but the stuff about his mom being in L and him trying to save her came a bit later. This was revealed in Astonishing Tales number 8. And after that became an integral part of Mr. Doom's continuity and motivation. It wasn't until Triumphant Torrent that it was put to bed. Without being horrifically scarred and then blaming it on Mr. Fantasticals and devoting himself to revenge, this Mr. Doom instead has all his focus on Saving is man's soul from Satan. We follow some similar beats. He gans to the Himalayas. He studies some magic. He has some armour created for him. And I want to know what people think of this design. We have swapped silvers for golds. And the big difference is his mask is now... A Darth Knight style helmet instead of an iron faceplate covering his disfigurement. Comment and say you like it, you don't mind it, or it looks goofy down below. I don't know if I've become unpopular or if YouTube aren't publishing people's comments, so I want to use this video as a testing ground. Then we have Satan. It was having an orgy, which is classic Satan hijinks. This bit is one of the less exciting ideas in here because it is basically what happened in canon anyway. Mr. Doom, he returns to his fictional country and he finds that it is now a hell all being ran by a dictator. So he liberates it. The difference being this time Mr. Doom won't simply replace him and be another cruel monarch because 
This Mr. Doom is a bit nicer. I will say, as with most issues of What If, the actual question, the title, it's a bit misleading because Mr. Doom doesn't really become a hero. He just doesn't become a bad guy. He reunites with his childhood love, Valeria, no last name. She is another bit of Mr. Doom mythology that came along later. Marvel Superheroes issue 20. That one is a really great issue. I highly recommend it. I don't recommend the Martin Quaid story where Mr. Doom kills her. And then wears her skin. And he would have you believe that comics were dark and depressing in the 90s. Before he came along and did all some fun stories like that. It has always amazed me that nobody ever once gave Valeria a last name. Fruit pies with thing. The arsehole thinks Mr. Doom will settle for fruit pies over his mother's soul. So yeah, Mr. Doom, he marries Valeria, no last name. I guess her last name becomes Von Doom here. Also, she has never received an Andy Book profile, ever. Not even in the 2000s era Andy Books. Not even in this, when she could quite easily have had an off-page profile. She isn't a major character. I don't think she has more than 20 appearances. And most of those are flashbacks. But she is a fairly significant part of Mr. Doom's backstory and his character. Our main thing here, though... Mr. Doom and Satan. We're gonna have us some satanic verses. That is a pun, but you can't recognise it unless it's written down. Verses like fighting. Satanic verses. It's better than fucking Eurovision Kong Sun Test and IT Orphan Power Arrangers. This is the highlight of the issue, though. This battle between Mr. Doom and Satan. We are seeing Mr. Doom face this evil demon, which is also, metaphorically, his own personal demon. And then Satan, he puts on his torture hat. And I realise now that it would take far too much time to explain all of his machinations. But the end point is basically, he says, Oi, give us your soul, and I'll let the other souls you like gan free. And so Mr. Doom's dilemma is one of pride. Can he give up his own soul to save others? And the answer can be found in this issue of What If. Not bad, a decent offering. I always liked when issues of What If would tie together new versions of Origins. And here we get both his mother's damnation and Valeria, no last name, incorporated into his origin, rather than just sticking to the Stanley Lee and Jack Quimby version of it from Fantastic Force Annual 2. I think I recommend this. It's not a great story, but it more than holds your attention, and Mr. Doom is nearly always a compelling character. Seven thumbs up for me.